Hello and welcome back to Children's Reading Cove. This is Chapter 9 of Dragon Masters, Rise of the Earth Dragon. Chapter 9, Whispers. And that is how to shine a dragon's scales. Griffith was saying later that week, Remember, brush one scale at a time. No shortcuts. Rory sighed. When can we go out again? Drake was glad Rory had asked. They had been stuck in the training room for three days. Drake liked learning about dragons, but he was used to being outside all day, every day, on his farm back home. He was starting to forget what the sun looked like. The wizard patted a tall pile of books on his desk. There's much for you to learn first. We will go out again soon, Rory. Then a soldier came in. He handed something to Griffith. The wizard smiled. Drake, it is a letter for you. Read it out loud, Anna said. Drake quickly nodded to Griffith. Dear Drake, we are glad you are safe. We still don't know why the king brought you there. Can you tell us? Please keep writing so we won't worry. And thank you to your friend Bo for helping you to write to us. Love, your mother. Your mother sounds nice, Bo said. Drake's eyes started to burn. He held back his tears. Thanks, he said. May I send another letter to tell her about the dragons? You must not say anything about the dragons, Griffith said. The king's secret must be kept. The wizard stood up. Now it is time to shine your dragons. Let us go. As they were leaving the training room, Rory ran over to Anna. She started whispering to her. Drake kept an eye on Rory as they walked toward the dragon caves. She has a sneaky look on her face, he thought. What are she and Anna up to? End of chapter 9. We'll see you back again for chapter 10. Bye-bye.